Hi, beauties and girls. Welcome back for another video. And you know what? This is not a wet t-shirt contest. I'm actually about to do my wash and go routine. And I wanted to show you guys what I am doing. It's actually before I do my twist out, I kind of do my wash and go and then I convert it just because I get the optimal results. So I'm obviously jumping jumping in. If you are new to my channel, I will let you know that I do have high porosity hair and I do the lock method, which is oil, liquid oil cream. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump in because for some of you all that know what the lock method is, it's going to be kind of boring to you all, but I will explain it for the new ones. Just adding some new water to my water bottle. If you want to know where I got this from, because I get so many questions, I actually took a Febreze bottle, but you can actually buy this at Sally's now. But I took a Febreze bottle because the mist on this is insane. Yes. So when I want to get soaking wet hair, it distributes it really, really well. And the reason why I am staying in a t-shirt and not putting a towel around my neck is because I don't want my ends to be dried out. And as you can tell, towels are a no-no. You want to definitely use a microfiber, which I have. Now my hair is looking so good right now because I did a deep condition and reconstructive. That's a whole nother video, which you guys will see. But basically what I'm doing right now is doing my lock method so I section my hair off always in four parts I have fine thin hair you can section off your hair as you see fit but what I have been loving and in this video I am going to show you products that I have been loving for wash and go this is the Jamaican black castor oil by Sunny Isle but it is a lavender scent um, it doesn't matter what scent I actually actually have the rosemary one too but I love castor my my hair loves castor seed oil because it is a heavy oil that is going to coat the hair and lock in the moisture so in the lock method for me the liquid is water okay so I'm gonna make sure that I get my ends really really well and I'm gonna go up the strand but if you can tell I'm gonna show you the difference in just a minute but I'm going down and the reason why I want to go down is because High porosity hair's cuticle is raised and when I'm going down, it's smoothing it down. Okay, so you're going to get like very smooth hair. And I did my detangling routine as well. So um, those videos will be coming. You probably would have seen it by then because I want to do it step by step. But as you can tell, look at the difference between this being locked and this hair. Okay. But this hair is about to look, this hair is about to look like this hair. But see how bouncy? And I actually go and do, I do the oil. I lock in all my hair before applying any product because I want to get the optimal. I want to get that water locked in. And that's why I reapply. Okay, so with this, I'm going to go ahead and twist it because I want to keep my hair detangled because I did detangle it. And then... After I finish applying the oil to my entire head, then I will come back and apply the cream. And we will be finished with the lock method. But look at that. I'm telling you, you get the optimal results. I feel like locking in the moisture, especially for high porosity hair, is the most important thing. So again, I'm going to take... I just... Y'all, I just take a good amount. I would say like... A quarter to a half dollar amount of oil oil to me is probably the most important like I could go out with my hair after this without the cream but the cream is kind of like it marries everything together it's like moisture oil moisture so it actually is trapping the oil in there to kind of do what it does so I actually smooth prayer hands, fist, prayer hands. I kind of like go back and forth. And now our other hair is like that. 
and it leaves it extremely, extremely clumped. I love that look. But your deep conditioner is really important for that too. And your reconstructive or your protein treatment. You want to make sure that you're doing all of that. I could do. You know what? Let me do this part. This part is the driest of my hair. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make sure I get that part really, really well. It's really important to know what dry spots you have in your hair too. I want to drench my hair in water, okay, before applying this. And this is not, this part I'm going to actually section into a smaller section just so I get more oil because if this is your problem dry area, you want to apply more product in that area. I have talked about that in a earlier video a couple years back, but a lot of you guys are new. So if you can tell, yeah. And I still have some more on my hands in terms of product, but castor oil to me is one of the best things. Even if you have fine thin hair, I recommend using it. It brings some thickness to my hair too, y'all. My hair looks thick. I'm going to twist. Okay. So now we're going to split this into a section. Just make sure you're very gentle to your hair and still have water on here, but we're going to drench it again. I'm telling you, get a good t-shirt that you just do your wash and go on that because that way you won't ruin your shirts. You know, like get one or two shirts that you can like use that you're not going to, you know. It's for your hair when you're doing your hair because see this is absorbing the oil but I can't I don't want to put a towel around it and I've noticed that you know you don't want to ruin if you don't want to ruin your ends and you know that towel does that just get a t-shirt that you can wear that that is just like your designated like wash day t-shirt And let me, sh no, I'm, I'm just going to show y'all this. I get my ends, like my edges. I'm sorry, my edges. So I'm going to go in. Get my edges. Okay. One more, y'all. One more. <sighs> Castor seed oil is so good. And we're going to twist this. So good. You can tell when you're gonna have like a good hair day. You know what I mean? When you're using like really good products. What? Okay, so now we are going to go into our cream and a review is coming of this right after this video because it needs to happen. But this is the Diva Curl Decadence Leave-In Conditioner and we are going to pump some of this. This is the liquid. No, this is the cream. So that's how that smells good. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Break it through. Smooth it down. Slick it down. Look at that. Y'all can't tell. You can't tell me nothing, sis. Oh, I. So this is one that my hair gets dry so I'm going to use twice the amount of leave-in conditioner now I'm using Diva Curl and Diva Curl I love it it is on the pricey side but their products work for me um, I use twice the amount of leave-in conditioner that I used in that back strand and my hair tends to be way more moisturized in the back probably because I don't touch it and yeah so look at that 
I'm telling y'all, this is how, like, once you get your method down, nobody ain't gonna be able to tell you nothing, sis. I mean, I tried new methods, y'all, but when you know what works for your hair, that is the whole point. I mean, this. I mean, the reason why I do these videos is so you can figure it out like I did, but really it's about finding out what works for your hair. You won't hear me saying, well, this is going to work for everybody because it's not. This is just what works for my hair, but I looked at a whole bunch of YouTube videos to figure out mine. It's a cocktail of everybody's. It really isn't like just one YouTuber that... I gained inspiration from solely, you know, in terms of my hair products. But that looks so good. Okay. So we need to do this back one over here. And just take it by section. It will keep your hair detangled. If you have issues with detangled hair like I do, then so I'm using basically three pumps per per strand. Okay. So we are back because I am done with my wash and go. Now I use a different styler and I am coming with a review after this video of this mousse. I've never used a mousse in my, I've never used a mousse in my hair as my styler in the history of my videos or for that matter, pretty much besides one that my hairstylist put in my hair, but I'll give you guys the review, but basically all I did was put it in as my styler. I, I didn't even section off my hair really, but my hair is actually almost dry, which is why I'm really liking this. But basically that is my wash and go routine. That's my updated wash and go routine for the spring and summer is using lighter products. I really do enjoy these um so that is my routine. The only thing that I do, I'm back, by the way. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I actually had to head off because Joseph was getting cranky and needed to take a nap. So he is sleeping right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And yeah, that is my updated wash and go routine. Like I showed you all. I do it a little bit different, especially with my hair. The styler is probably the thing that I'm like, I distribute like all over my hair for the spring and summer. But y'all, y'all can see the shrinkage is crazy. Look, 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 look. My hair is like down here, but the shrinkage is real. Okay, so this is almost dry. And I do shake my hair back and forth. I put my hair back and forth. No, I don't. Um, but I do shake my hair just to get some volume and I just go back and forth like that while it dries so it can get some lift and volume but this is shiny curls this is coil you know somebody asked me do I coil my hair I have before but this is with no coiling whatsoever it would be more defined and actually it would even be shorter than this but this is with finger detangling only not with a dimming brush or anything and this is like with air dry if it was diffused it would be a lot more lifted and everything but I wanted to show you guys usually I just let my hair air dry but this is my wash and go routine. I know, but it's gonna, you know, this is the updated look. But, um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys the final results. It's about, um, I would say 85% dry now. It's just only like in this area that it needs to dry, but this is dry. This is dry. This is damp. So, in the top of my hair, try not to touch your curls, by the way. I try not to do that and then as it gets dry probably when it's about 90% dry I will like do my inverted bun I will do a high bun and a low bun and stretch it out that way and then hopefully I can come next week and show you guys how I take my wash and go and turn it into a twist out and make it last even longer and that's how I get long lasting hair but I wanted to show you guys my updated wash and go routine for spring and summer lighter products definitely and I get more volume for that so 
Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see beautiful you in the next video. Bye loves. Hi beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. Today's video is my updated wash and go routine. Yes, my hair is actually drying right now, but I love, I can tell when I'm going to have great hair days. And I do have some favorites of my videos. And so I do have some favorites of products. So I'm using my favorite products for spring and summer and let me know if you guys just want a dedicated video of all the products that I deem as my favorites for spring and summer that are like lightweight but gives me a lot of volume I really do enjoy it these I am okay with having a little bit of glycerin versus the winter where it's extremely cold the dew points are kind of like evened out and pretty good so I can use products that contain glycerin so that means low porosity and high porosity you might appreciate these recommendations let me know if you want a dedicated video of summer essentials for Ziha. but without further ado let's get into the updated wash and go let's go so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite products for spring and summer are. What's lightweight? What's heavy? What, what do you like? And why do you like it? Comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.